Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to start every day anew. Don't get caught up in yesterday. Don't get caught up in tomorrow. Today is the first day. What can you do to get the most out of today? I'm not talking about setting a whole list of goals. I'm not talking about uh, overachieving, being busy during the day. Nah. Start the day knowing who you truly are. Knowing that you were blessed, you were covered, and you have divine power within you to make up the day what you will. Sometimes that may look like tuning the world out. Sometimes that may be sitting out in nature, walking in nature. Some people like to work out. Some like to read a good book. Some light candles and feel the mood. Doesn't matter. But start your day and enjoy your day. Knowing that it's a one of one. Yeah, you have many Tuesdays. You have many Saturdays. But whatever day it is that you hear this. This is the only expression during that day that you'll have. Because the next day is a whole another beast, a whole another animal. So embrace the moments. Now within one day, there are many moments. Take time, quiet your mind. If you don't want to think about the things or you don't want to observe the things that are going on in your mind, find some external peace. Whatever that looks like for you, I'm simply here to remind you, I do not have it all figured out. But I want to remind you that just as I do, you have the power within you to live as you would like to live, to be as you would like to be. And there will be some choices that we make that only God will validate for us. So find moments to cherish those things, those beliefs, those ideas, those feelings, emotions. And know that you can rest peacefully by giving yourself that opportunity. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's not about anybody else but you. It's selfish, yes. But you are here to live your life. You are not here to satisfy everybody else. So think about ways that you can validate the life that you see for yourself. You want money? Go get money however you see fit. I'm not judging. You want peace of mind? Embrace the peace. Every peaceful moment that you can have. It might be just simply having a glass of water. Refreshing. Some things give us that same kind of fulfillment. It's about finding more of those things. You want to go start a garden? Jump into it. Why not? And do it for you. Don't even bring anybody else around to mess up your fulfillment. No, do it for you. Plant one seed. And if you don't physically do it, plant the idea. Nourish the idea in your mind. Plan the garden. Even if it's simply one seed in a pot, start in a cup, whatever you do. Take time and nourish yourself. Every day is a new. The day is here to serve you. So make sure you're nourishing your spirit. So every opportunity you get, whether it be a day, a moment, a second, five seconds, you can, enjoy, you can enjoy those moments and truly embrace them. 
it's a long hard journey. There's enough resistance and seeming opposition in the world. So why not be your own best friend? Why not trust in who you are? Why not allow God to work in ways that we cannot imagine to breathe these things that you desire, that you see for yourself into existence? I mean, truthfully, what do you have to lose? I think it's a good point to stop for now. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.